Welcome back to the Snake Pit. This is uh, another video. This is a video about relaxing and working with your opponent during these techniques. There's a few videos I wanted to get in before we got into techniques. This is the last one before we hit the techniques. And before we hit the techniques, you need to go back and look at the footwork video, double parry, and the trapping videos because they're all essential for these techniques. And the first thing I want to talk about is working with your partner. While these are hands-on, you, you kind of need a partner to work with. And it's very important. It's easy for somebody to be like all stern and like when you're wanting to do something, they like not working with you to make themselves look good. And that's not helping neither one of them. Uh, like for example, we're here and the technique involves me kicking to the groin. Now, he's the, the, the one doing the attacking me and I'm defending. By kicking to the groin, it's important for him to give you that response. Because, I mean, it'd be easy for him to just stand upright and me kick, and then, you know, that doesn't help me. What we're learning here is not only how we move, but how our opponent moves. And how, when, when we do this one part of the technique, how he moves and, and evolves into more. So, that's important. And because, like, in, in real life, like, say here, like, we have a a lock we do with this grab and he could very easily just not let me do this and just keep it and it be you know be like ho ho now this is where pain comes in and uh, I teach this to women women self-defense and what I always teach is come around smack first foremost and if you got those big talons that y'all call fingernails scratch claw what that does it gives that moment of pain and it loosens this where they're not all uh. so if your husband boyfriend this is a girl doing this he's not working with it pow just kidding all right okay so boom and here's what i want to show you kind of where pain we need to work with pain like right here i could say you know i got him in this lock and you're like well he's got a free hand over there he could punch you and yeah he could go ahead and touch me in the nose he can touch my nose all right Let's add a little pain in here. Touch me in the nose. He can't touch me in the nose. If he tries, go ahead. Oh, he hates me. I love it. But it's not me. All right. That's just a little bit about working with your opponent. Kind of working with them. And second thing, uh, like I was preaching in the footwork, good solid foundation. And part of that solid foundation is having a straight spine. Alright? Like Josh here. I could, uh, he's a big guy, he's taller than me now. I know this guy when he was five years old. I can come here, uh, can't take him down, right? If I just bend his back a little bit, it goes down. That's why it's important when we're doing these techniques, don't get all out of whack. Don't, you know, all you're doing is you're putting yourself out of balance. I'm sorry. Yeah. Here is something we do. This comes from a Russian Sistema, a little exercise they do. And uh, you just take a stick, and what he does just keeps his spine straight. When he moves down, keeps straight. All right. And just learn to move. <clears throat> like I said before, punch is only going to miss you by this much. And the same thing with this stick. This is, this is basically representing, you know, a punch coming out of here. It's only got to miss him by this much. Punch here. Oh, see there? It keeps a good, solid foundation. So even when you got to duck a punch, you stay here. You're nice and rooted. You're solid. And that's just a few fine points I wanted to go over before we get in these techniques. And they're coming up in the next video, actually. So, until next time. And be sure you like, subscribe, uh, leave a comment, and until next time, train hard.